Hey folks, the sun is setting on the forest and there's supposed to be a thunderstorm tonight, so uh, we should probably hurry up with this. Uh, the limit of sine of 2x over x as x approaches zero. What is that? Well, as always, your first instinct should be to try just substituting the value into the function. Can we plug zero into this with no problems? Uh, not really. Sine of 2 times 0 is sine of 0, which is 0, and plugging in 0 in the denominator, eh, that's not going to work. It's going to be 0 over 0. We're going to have to be a little bit more sophisticated about our technique for this one. But not all is lost, because what we have here is sine of a thing, 2x, over x x is not 2x, but it's pretty close, and x is approaching 0 in this limit. So what you have to remember is this fundamental trigonometric limit, that the limit of sine of a thing, let's say theta, the limit of that over theta, the thing in the sine function, as theta approaches 0, this is equal to 1. You've got to know this limit. And I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson proving it if you are a little skeptical. We want to use this to evaluate this limit. The problem is that we've got 2x in the sine function and x in the denominator. So this rule can't quite be applied yet. In order to get 2x in the denominator, all I'd have to do is multiply by a half, right? So maybe I can squeeze that in right here. What if I just multiply this by a half? Then I'll have 2x in the denominator just like I want. But of course, if I do that, then I have changed the limit. I don't want to change the limit, so to be safe, let's multiply by 2 as well. Squeeze that in here. So we multiply by a half and we multiply by 2. In total, we're multiplying by 1, we're not changing anything, so this is fair game. You may recall when we've got products in a limit, we could take these factors out or we could leave them inside the limit. Either one's fine. Since it suits my purposes, I'm going to take the factor of 2 out of the limit and I'm going to leave 1 half inside. So this is equal to, I'm taking the 2 out, so it's equal to 2 times the limit of sine of 2x over what? Well, I've got that 1 half in there, so now my denominator is 2x, just like I wanted. And this limit is with x approaching 0, so let's not forget to write that. So now we've got that it's equal to 2 times the limit of sine 2x over 2x as x approaches 0. Can we apply the rule now, this rule here that I almost touched with that 2? We can nearly apply it. The one problem is that we have sine of 2x over 2x, uh, but it's not 2x approaching 0. It's x approaching 0. Uh, but that's no problem at all, because what's happening to 2x as x approaches 0? 2x is approaching 0 too, right? If x is super small, 2x is super small. And so conveniently enough, this is equal to 2 times the limit. If x is approaching 0, then so is 2x. So the limit as 2x approaches 0 of sine of 2x over 2x. Now I can apply the limit I know. We have the limit of sine of a thing over that thing, sine of 2x over 2x, with 2x approaching 0. So now, this falls under this rule, it's equal to 1. But don't forget that 2 out front. So this is equal to 2 times 1, which I'll bet you know that one, that's equal to 2. And if it made you more comfortable, we could have given 2x a name, like we could have called 2x theta, and then we'd have the limit as theta approaches zero of sine of theta over theta. It'd be the same thing. You might prefer that. I prefer this because it's simpler. We didn't have to introduce a new variable. But that's it. The limit 
as x approaches zero of sine of two x over x is just equal to two. And you just gotta know this fundamental trigonometric limit in order to do it.